Hello everyone, the Yellow Corner is back. After two weeks of international food, football, we back once again. And I'm joined by the one and only, Dambai. <laughs> sure, sure, Ezo. Oh, and... Uh, I am not think I'm not doing that. No, man, I'm good. I'm good, man. I'm, I'm happy that uh, real football, proper football is back, man. Uh, yeah, looking forward to... Uh, football between now and uh, the 23rd of December uh, because from March, from uh, January to, to, to early March, league will be great for AFCON, man. So I'm looking forward to the next uh, few games of the league. Eh? Yeah, no, uh, we, we, we truly miss watching Mamelo de Sanders play football. So I'm looking forward to our game against Cape Town City, and I'm looking forward to see uh, how are we going to perform after this long international week. Yeah, so am I. So am I, man. But before we get into that, I just want us to touch on two subjects. Uh, the, the last time uh, we, 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 we did preview, we spoke about the most important game. Yes, Sundowns not being the, the, the league game, but... Uh, the Champions League game, the KF Women Champions League game. And we find ourselves here uh, 90 plus minutes away from uh, probably winning the Champions League, man, being the only, the one and only uh, African team uh, coming to win uh, both uh, Champions League, uh, Champions League's for both uh, genders, man. How how excited about you uh, about that? Are you about that prospect? I, I I'm, I'm truly excited. I think uh, our ladies have played very well. They are dominating here in South Africa. So it is time that they dominate in Africa as well. But I I, I believe in them, and I know that they will come back home uh, with uh, uh, the trophy. Yeah, man. I also have that hope and believe on our ladies, man. I mean, after all, uh, 2016, that's where we won it, in Egypt. So, yeah, man, go out there and uh, give the Has come on, Hasakas ladies a, a, a walloping, man. All the best of luck to them. And then moving right along, man. Uh, today, I was thinking back to a Facebook post that I posted around 2011, if I'm not mistaken, when from Pokekana joined Mami Rodi Sundowns, I was young and very stupid because I said I don't see him lasting because of uh, as a home. Ten years later, I find myself being emotional, thinking back to what he has achieved for Mamelo Sundowns Football Club, our greatest ever captain, our most successful captain, man. I do not have words for Lompo, man. I, I don't have words to describe Lompo. I, I don't even know what to say, man. Do you have anything to say, Gaf Lompo, perhaps? Uh, one thing I'm happy about is that you acknowledge that on Osadzebo Wakenu King when uh, you posted Go 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 Facebook uh, 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 do well uh, go 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 Sandals. But like Plumper when he came when he joined Sandals, he came in a time where we were hopeless. We were in, in a time where we didn't know whether we were going to win the trophy. We had no direction. Like we are just a, a, an ordinary team, but uh, look at the success that he had with the team winning the Kev Champions League. And I think he's the greatest captain of all time in South Africa. Yeah, no, man. Yeah, no. Uh, you know, Rapelang, the words, the word legend, most South Africa is yeah. it's it's used good. loosely, man. It's used on people who, 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 uh, who shined for a season or two, who are a flavor of the month, uh, they are regarded as legends, man. <laughs> when you talk about legends, you talk about the likes of from Poikekana, man. You talk about the likes of Bola Kilihuati. Those guys are legends. It's saying, I want to enjoy just because Tabiso, uh, Ola uh, two minutes in Yana, Ashaina, Ashaina, now he's regarded as a legend. No, man. 
when you talk about legends, you talk about the likes of Flo Boyekan. And I wish him nothing but the best of luck uh, with, with um, his future, man. And I know at some stage, he'll be a, 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 a clock up uh, once again, man. Like uh, 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 the best chairman in African football said, Jorge, he'll always have a home at sundown. So we just want to say thank you, man. Thank you for the memories, uh, uh, Fumbo, man. Uh, I, I, if, if we were to talk about the total film party and for sundowns, we won't have preview a Cape Town, a game here on the Cape Town City. So thank you very much, uh, 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 film party, man. Uh, we really appreciate what you did for our team and you've absolutely into your name in our hearts forever. Moving to our game against Cape Town City Raps, uh, game week 10, we are uh, on 12 points now. When we started, we said 13 points will be uh, uh, perfect. We can do better and uh, get 15, man. Uh, how are you feeling about this game? We're playing against a team that's played nine games, that's won three, drawn three, lost three, they've scored eight, considered uh, 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 11 and they are on 12 points. How do you feel about this game? Look, I think uh, we, are, we we played them not long time ago in the Internet final and this is an I think Cape Town City they, they, they lack consistency. The last time they won two consecutive games it was uh, around 8, 24 April 2021. So they've mm. won one two games in a row since that time. So it shows that the consistency is not there. And when uh, team class joined in, we thought that they, they were going to be a better team and they were going to, to challenge for, for, for the league title, but they find themselves uh, outside the top eight. But this is the game where if they win, they are going uh, in the top eight. So it, 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 it is a big game for them because of it team like Cape Town City, they will always want to be uh, uh, around number three, number two, and pushing uh, the team that is number one as well. But uh, Eric Tintler more than them on the pressure because of he has to deliver and the team so far hasn't been performing very well. True, eh? True. Uh, a lot uh, uh, was or is, is expected of Eric, man, because another thing, another advantage that he has uh, on the coaches season with new teams is that he they brought him in towards the end of last season so he had enough time to prepare for this season he had a uh, pre season little team so one would have thought they would have had a, a, a better start than they had they they, they have they had have had now uh, I want us to talk about do you think uh, the MTN final will have any impact on how both teams approach uh, this 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 league match. Yeah, I think the approach will be slightly different because of uh, MTN. It was a cup final, and in MTN, uh, what matters the most it, it is the win. Uh, of course, you want to perform very well, but you know that the win uh, gives you uh, the, the, the trophy. But I think. Uh, this is a league game. And also, you come from a, a, a two-week uh, international uh, uh, break. So I think this game uh, won't be competitive, but I might be wrong. But uh, this is a team that plays a, a very entertaining football. Uh, uh, and that the teams that have a, a, a couple of similarities, but... Uh, I, I, I foresee a, a, a good game between these two sides. Okay, I am totally lost and I feel like you're contradicting yourself. You're saying it might not be a competitive game, but as you end, you say you foresee a good game. Where are you with this game? <laughs> Look, I've, uh, uh, because of we come from an international league, I think. Uh, you think both teams will, uh, won't be at their uh, optimum best in this game? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, okay. But because of brilliance, I think it might be wrong and it might be a, 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 a top game and an entertaining game as well. Mm -hmm. No, I get your point. And fair, fair enough, you know, it might have affected a bit of momentum. Uh, 
Raps, let's touch on Cape Town City, man. Cape Town City's uh, defensive uh, deficiencies, man. I don't understand what's going on with Cape Town City. They just can't defend. They, you look back at last season, they considered the second most uh, 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 goals uh, in front of them. It was relegated Black Leopards. Cape Town City considered uh, 40 goals last season. Black Leopards considered 47 goals. This is this is shocking, man. This is I I I just can't get wrap my head around this. Sorry. What's the issue? Because I think Fasika is good. I think Phyllis is good. I think Mubare is good. I think Tato is good in front of them. So why are they conceding so much? I mean, you look at the stats, man. Um, I th- these are home uh, for 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 their home matches, man. Goals uh, against. Expected goals, goals against ne, k zero point nine four ne, but they are conceding one point four. I mean, they've mm. scored, they've considered more than they have uh, scored this season. So, what's going on, man? What's going on with them and uh, not being able to concede? I I think they concede a lot of goals because of uh, look, uh, they they have quality defenders and individual, they are good, but collectively, I think that's where they are not good enough. They, 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 they can't play as a team at the back. And also, uh, Eric Tinker always changes his defense. I don't know what's the reason behind that. Sometimes he, ch- he changes the setup and he changes the, 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 the players as well. And that can confuse uh, the players and also uh, the there's no stable partnership between in defense. You don't know who would start the second game. And Kosandos, as much as we 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 change, uh, but we are a winning team. Bona, they, they are drawing, they are losing. So changing a defense uh, when the performance is not good enough, I think won't bring any solutions uh, for them. But uh, I think they had uh, enough break to to reflect on their defense and try. To, to, to come up with solutions. Yeah, man, yeah. Hopefully those solutions will come after uh, our game against them on Saturday. Uh, hopefully on, sun, on Saturday they'll still be vulnerable at the back. But as much as they they, 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 they consider a lot, they are one team that always has a goal uh, uh, in them. Yeah? They are home uh, uh, expected goal. Ki... 1.18 and they are scoring 1.2. So they are a team that always has a goal uh, in them. Let's talk about how they will approach this match. I think they will start this match cut three at the back. Others will say five, others will say three, whatever it is, man. Uh, but I think they will have Mubara, Phyllis, and 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 Fasika. Reason I'm saying this is I feel like the moment they switch to that in the final. Momentum switched. Uh, 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 it, it went to them. The same way it did when they played against Pirates. They were poor in the first half against Pirates in the league match. But they switched to a three and then it changed. So I think they will they will do that. They will, they will go back to a three instead of a two on Saturday. I also think that they will try to press us high. If you look at the goal that we considered, man, it came because they pressed us high. They were happy to be vulnerable uh, behind, but they were pre- they, they pressed us high and it worked uh, for them. And another thing is, I, will, I think they will try to keep possession as much as they can. In that game, even Coach Gulani said, oh, that game showed that we are a terrible team without possession. We are a terrible team without the ball. So that's they, they they are going to they are going to want to do the same uh, 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 and when you check at uh, their average ball possession uh, for their home games, fifty two percent. But funny enough, our average ball possession uh, when we play away is seventy seven percent. So yeah, it's uh, we'll see who it will be. And then another thing that I think they will do, 
um, Corre, David, if you watch the early stages of the first half year final, they shut down the passing uh, lanes. They didn't allow uh, us or a baller to away from uh, the, the center back zone to our middle fielders. And it took us a while to, 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 to come up with a plan to, 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 to bypass uh, that. Wearable. So I think they will try and do that and it will frustrate because it will frustrate us. We we are a team that wants to build from the back. Wearable. So if they do that, it might help, it might lead us to uh, into doing something, which I think might be an advantage, but I'll tell you later on why I say so. Wearable. And then I think they will try and improve their rest defense. It was not, it was not as bad in the final, but in other games that you watch, their rest defense was awful. Wearable. So that's my two cents worth. I don't know uh, if you want to add something on how they would approach the this game. I, I, I watched their previous game against uh, Amazulu where they played 3 uh, 5 1 1. Look, their defense is not a good Dude, you play 3 5, you attack playing 3 5 2, you defend playing 3 5 2. I think the problem starts there. When you defend, the shape has to change. When you attack, the shape has to change. Because of uh, when you defend, that means the, the, the opposition, they apply a lot of numbers coming to you. So you have to uh, uh, mesh them in terms of numbers. But you look at the first goal that Amazulu scored. They, won the ball on the left side of Kipton seat. They played a cross defined the, uh, behind Cupid, who was the right center back. And behind him, that was supposed to be uh, Nkiza's position, but was nowhere to be found. And that was a goal. And I think Amazon scored uh, almost two similar goals where there was mm, the full back was not the way it was supposed to be. I, I think they, 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 they don't understand what is expected from them in this 3-5-1-1 uh, uh, formation. I think they, they, they are uh, better when they play for the bank because of the job. It, it is much easier because of you know what uh, it is expected. And playing for uh, or, uh, at the bank, it is more of a, a traditional setup in football. But for them, I don't think... They... Sorry to cut you off. Man. I think offensively playing three at the back ne, works for them. Uh, yeah. When they play four at the back, uh, two uh, uh, centrally, I think offensively it works against them. So they look at it on some, okay, you know what? With three, we'll score, we'll concede, but we'll score more. I think that's how they look at it. Uh, but Look, a team that has conceded a lot of number of goals than the ones you have you have scored. So we should be worried about the defense as well. And when we play three, the fullbacks, when uh, the opposition are attacking, the fullbacks has to drop and it has to be a uh, five uh, a man uh, uh, defense so that uh, you have enough numbers to to defend. And uh, they played with Phyllis as a center back and Cupido right center back. Admiralson left centre back and a centre back go kasi sweep. That means sweeper he organises, he anticipates the balls and he marshals the defence and he mark less. But if, in that game against Amazon, Phyllis was marking uh, many times more than the, the right centre back and the left centre back. And I think uh, Amazon should have uh, uh, exposed them. So. I think Lorona, if they continue playing three at the back, that is not organized in when they are defending, will definitely punish them because of these players. They don't know the requirements of playing a, a, a three five two. All right, thank you, Coach Dogish. I see you doing your badges. Uh, yeah, I, I hear what you're saying. I hear what you're saying, and yeah, uh, we'll see how it goes, man. Uh, important. Another important thing, ne. Uh, Kore, they score most of their goals, like 50% of their goals around the 51st minute and the 60th minute. So they're dangerous during that period coming uh, from uh, halftime. Ne? And Rona, funny enough, 
we score the same, we score most of our goals around the same time, even though it's not as much as them because ours is 29%. Where more. And then they concede most of their goals, 36% in the last 10 minutes of the game. Just like uh, the team that we played before we went to international break and we punished them, we scored two uh, during that period. Can I give you a team? yeah. And Rona, we score most of our goals. Uh, like uh, uh, during that period, ne? but the second most yeah, the goals are Rona. Ne? It comes in the 81st, between the 81st and uh, the 90th minute. Yeah, well, so it shows you, can uh, I consider It's where we most dangerous. Uh, uh, yeah, well, so yeah, man. Uh, moving on to lineup, yeah, well, like I said, I think they will play. A, a three, a three or five, or however, however you look it at the back, and I think it will be Hugo, Fasika, Mubarak, Phillips, and then it will be Mkise and Masheho, and then Hari, Ekaba, Tatole, Bibo, who I think had a, a, a huge impact in the final. I think his sub, him coming on, a, a changed the, the, the game. He 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 made them. A tick, he got on the ball a lot. So I think they will sacrifice uh, no data for this game. And then up, uh, up front, I think it will be like Kay, um, Danzani, and Ralani. And I think Danzani will play as a false, false nine because uh, he's played there before and he's their top goal scorer. And Martin is not available for this game. So I think maybe they might move Fakri uh, 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 to the side a bit. I don't know uh, 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 how you feel about that. If I were uh, uh, Rick Tintler, I'd play for the back, Kize, Fasika, Phyllis, and other Teres Mashiro. Then uh, 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 I'd play, um, Kize would play in front of Parman. Mkeke would play in front of Fasika and uh, Phyllis. Then their number eight will be uh, Kima, uh, Makola and uh, Noda, the film Noda. Because of uh, he, he has the stamina to, to, to cover a lot of distance, and they are playing against a team that loves to have a, a position. So, up front, it will be uh, like uh, 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 Ralani, and I think they would keep Ajagun. So, you're saying it's like K. Hey. Ralani and Ajagun. So you benching your you benching their top goal scorer. I don't see Danzani being benched for this game. Uh, Danzani, look, as much as uh, this last season at this stage, I think he had more than six or five goals. But this season, okay, he has a couple of goals, but he hasn't okay. matched. His... Oh, I, see, I hear what you say. He's basically he's scoring. But not affecting the games as much as he did last season. Yeah. Yeah. Mm, okay, now I hear you. I hear you, Mdogish. Uh, let's move on to sun, uh, Sundowns, but we'll still be talking about Cape Town City. How do we beat Cape Town City, Apella? Look, I think first of all, uh, we shouldn't offer them a lot of space and we should cut the, 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 the supply or uh, try to silence their, their, their best players. I think we should try to, to, to drag down uh, Ralani, who, whom against uh, uh, Amazulu played uh, in the spaces behind uh, Ajagun and sometimes you'd find him slightly uh, on the left. So I think we should uh, keep an, an eye on him. And also we should, uh, when they, they, they have the ball, we should always think ahead when we regain position where are we going to hurt them? We should always be step ahead of them. So I think this is how we are going to, to win the game and also uh, apply a lot of pressure, uh, uh, force them to, to, to make mistakes as well. And we should, there are moments where they will attack us and dominate the game a little bit. We should be able to absorb the pressure. In the MTN 8 second half, there was a moment where they were dominating and we were chasing the ball. So I think we should uh, uh, be able to absorb the pressure and uh, avoid conceding a goal as well. Hey, and I remember 
that period there, yeah, 10 to 15 minutes, yeah. I remember saying to you, right, this game must go to extra time because, yeah, no, they had us, man. They had us got you washing. Know, but I think uh, we need to come up with uh, a, a way to bypass this thing, yeah, but now, yeah, the passing lanes, yeah, but how they press their, their, their first phase, yeah, yeah, yeah press, yeah, but, and I think there's a way we can do that, but it will be risky. But that's football for you. High risk, high reward. It will be risky in a sense that we did it car final and it led to a goal whereby Onyango, they shut us down. Onyango tried to play a, 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 a ball over a, 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 that a press airborne. And unfortunately, he was an accurate airborne. So I think we need to take more risks in that sense. Or have Ronaldo <laughs> on Yango try try to 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 to, to pass and get b- behind a uh, uh, pressier yabo now abo. but maybe not do it centrally maybe play play try play the ball into the wider channels because uh, if they are able to win possession when he played it played it, play he plays it into those channels then we are we can easily regroup and 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 uh, have our shape back or unlike whereby where he plays it centrally and they have a direct a, a way to go Wabo. So I think we need to have Onyango dictate uh, 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 on the ball in terms of his distribution. Because I think once we bypass that name, it means so we have a numerical superiority ne? and our speed in attack needs to be at uh, the highest level yeah, because once you have numerical as a priority you need to take advantage of it you just don't want to have an, an advantage and not take uh, 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 capitalize on it yeah, but so and with that it for me it would mean okay, we need to play a front four that's uh, fast that's nippy and that's very mobile and for me that's Miami Zwani Kutumela and Shadulin because I can tell you now if we play Safranco, the center backs are one and they will be so happy because center backs enjoy the striker that they always see in front of them. As long as I can see you in front of me and you're not turning me, I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. So Fasika, Phyllis, or even Mubara will be happy to have a Safranco. But for any, they won't because they wouldn't know who to mark. They will always be chasing where I was. So I think that's what we, we need to do. And another, the most important thing uh, on how I think we can beat them to it, we mustn't let Alani uh, uh, have the ball in danger areas. In that, I mean, in half uh, spaces, in half spaces getting into uh, the zone 17 area. Where was. We let him do that in that period, Yamakola, uh, as again, Yamakola, and he almost wow. punished us. We, have also, we need to cut that. We need to take proper care of uh, Ralani. So, yeah, man, that's that uh, on, on, on how I think we should uh, uh, beat them. Perhaps the impact of uh, the international break, the impact of us having most of our players not go on international duty, man. Uh, I mean, they switch off. They, they, they take a week's break. You saw... Bo, uh, the, the, the South Americans were in Sun City. The players were relaxed, man. What's your take on the impact this has on our team? Our players being able to switch off, total switch off of football for a week, you know, because I think they got a week's break. And me, I could be wrong, but I think they got a week's break and only came back to training this week. I think it has its own disadvantages and advantages. I think the advantages are uh, some, of our, our, some of our players have time to recover and join the team. And I think the disadvantage is that uh, these kind of breaks have uh, an impact on the momentum of the win. And especially, more especially if you have been winning a lot of games. Uh, uh, so I think it has its own disadvantages and advantages. But uh, a team like Sundowns, uh, it is important uh, you, you collect three points before the international week and also you collect the three points the first game after the international week. 
I think it works wonders for us. I think being able to switch off from football, football, yeah, high pressure and to sport, you know, the stress of const- to be constantly winning, the pressure that comes from the media, the technical team, the supporters, the, the coaches, being able to switch off and just focus on you, your family, relax. I think it works wonders. And uh, our players come back uh, rejuvenated. So I, I, I absolutely uh, uh, love it now. About. Between this game, wraps and uh, the 23rd of December, we'll be playing a lot of football. We'll be playing 10 games because of the break here. Uh, uh, Afcon, our so ten games. That's a total of thirty points. points. <laughs> Am I crazy in thinking we can go into Christmas even wrapped up the league? I think it is achievable. Looking how we have performed and the the other teams uh, have performed as well. I think. Oof. But I December December is too ill. I think maybe after a few games after the 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 the, the Afcon uh, uh, break. But I think we, the, the the gap will be huge if we win most of our 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 uh, games. The two mention the 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 ten Yeah, no. I think the fact that we're winning and our so-called competitors are dropping points. Yeah, we might not uh, uh, wrap it up. Car. December, but uh, we might just wrap it up uh, early when you come back. Uh, give me your lineup. I think uh, Kennedy will uh, uh, Denis Onyang will start this one. Uh, we'll have a, a back four of uh, Tabelo. I don't know. Mudau in Jarita Mayajan because of the last game against Mahomo Galanto or Pola. Uh, and we had to bring on Tepelo Mrena. So I think Tepelo would start. Uh, we'd have Grant, uh, Mosa, and Lyle uh, as well. I think uh, Rivaldo will definitely start this game with Charlie uh, in the central uh, middle field. Uh, Front four, I think we'll go for that one that we've mentioned a few minutes ago. Kutumela, uh, Mayema, Temba, and Peter as well. Because I think it is the most mobile front four that you could go for. And also, uh, they, they, they match the opponents that we are going to face. Yeah, no. I also have the same lineup. Eh? Um, perhaps we haven't considered this season in the league, ne? I think we'll consider on, 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 on Saturday, though. But before we move on to that, ne? You have an option now to ruin the Champions League. Our ladies to win the Champions League tomorrow, ne? Mm-hmm. And we, we, we lose 5 nil on Saturday. Which one do you take? Would you rather our ladies miss out on the Champions League and we don't lose 5 nil and win the game on, on, on Saturday? I'll, I'll take five million of it. I'll take. I'll rather be the first African team to win uh, in the uh, uh, Champions League. Yama So I, I'll take five million. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, five million. I think you are going to come. Yeah, I know. So would I, man. So would I. Score prediction. Uh, we are definitely going to win uh, one nil. We are going to keep a clean sheet. Goal scorer. I think Shalila will score. I want the day you're going to consider a goal. It is going to feel like a defeat. Like a win, <laughs> but it's going to feel like a defeat. Having played uh, nine games and you haven't considered a goal, I think the day you concede, like it will feel like a defeat. When we played Chiefs last season, I think uh, we were unbeaten in the league. And when they, 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 they won that, Game, yes, yes. As much as we knew that we are going to win the league, but that defeat against Kaiser Chiefs, yeah, I know. I remember when I was miserable that weekend. Um, I think we are going to concede sadly on Saturday. I think we won't even concede one, we'll concede two goals. 
I think it will ah. be a 3 2 win for Sundowns. So, Baleba Bechang, 4.5 overs. So, yeah, I think we'll consider a goal, but still, st- we'll consider two goals, but still win. 3 2 win. I think Charlotte will score a brace and a, 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 a Kutumela will get one. And yeah, that's that, Masandawana. Um, we'll see you guys next week, Monday, I think. Yes, Monday, because we play on Wednesday. So, we'll see you guys. No, we'll see you guys next week, Tuesday. We're playing. A, a, a 20 derby against a super sport. So good luck to the boys, but most importantly, all the best of luck. Uh, Mudimu Abe, our ladies, man, uh, keep them in your prayers for their game against uh, Hasakas ladies tomorrow at seven uh, in, in the evening. All the best of luck, man. The sky's the limit. Sharp, sharp, no Yeah, no, they have to bring it home. Uh, sharp, sharp, Ezo. Hey, Tara.